people welcome back to my channel my name is faith i'm a men's personal stylist and shopper based in lagos nigeria but today is pick me up yes guys today is pick me up and i'm really excited to be back i took some time off to take care of my mind my body my soul and i'm really glad that i'm back today i'm going to be talking about a very sensitive topic but something that i've been getting a different light into yes and i've been working on and i figured why not why not come and share with my people because that is what i do and the topic is shame i'm talking about shame today but in a different light so generally speaking we have an idea of what shame means i'm going to read a few dictionary interpretations of shame that we are all um, familiar with one says an uncomfortable or painful feeling due to the recognition or consciousness of one's impropriety or dishonor or something being exposed that should have been kept private another says something to regret loss of honor and respect a painful feeling of humiliation or distress caused by the consciousness of wrong or foolish behavior but i'm going to be using one particular definition to express what i want to talk about today and i'm talking about that feeling that we get when we have done our best or what we think is our best but we have not gotten the results that we expect from it so you are probably ashamed that you went through all of this and there is nothing to show for it so that is the definition i'm going to be using the definition of something to regret yes basically that is it's in simple terms and in the course of my being away i was watching a particular instagram live and this coach was talking about how she put her best into a particular program she advertised she promoted that program she got a few people that signed up for the program but out of the few people it wasn't even a few people like a 20 something people signed up for that program but when she started about 90 days into the program or 60 days into the program if i remember correctly she was getting a particular vibe of some people were not giving their best like she was teaching she was you know she was putting in her best she had prepared that program for so long and she expected that the 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 people that were receiving this thing she was giving would be more gingered especially because they paid for it do you understand so there was a category of people that were giving their best you know that we're giving good feedback as well they were asking questions of clarity where they needed you know they came with all the zeal and everything and then there was another set of people that couldn't even be bothered and it didn't even matter that they paid for it you know and so she was evaluating and she was thinking this is not the kind of energy i want to be getting because it was now affecting her you know and she would go to class and she would give all these exercises but because of that vibe she started feeling ashamed of herself so she she cancelled that particular program and then it took several months she had now prepared another program but she went to that other program and she was reflecting that was it that i was teaching rubbish was this thing not solid enough was it not giving value and she realized that no it was like the program was fantastic the people the few people that were paying attention and did everything everything she was saying they were giving her testimonials they were still our um our retainers you know they were coming back with results and they had launched their own programs like they were doing so well but the large chunk of the class just couldn't be bothered and she was so ashamed to talk about it she, in fact she cancelled the program out of that shame and she did not want to do do anything that looked like a coaching group or anything because of that experience you know and she was reflecting on that live and saying that you know she got to this point where she, she had prayed she had done everything she had re-strategized and re repackaged the program but she only tweaked a few things and now she wanted to launch that program but she was holding herself back because she was so ashamed of the seemingly poor results of the first um program you know of the first group and she was thinking i don't think i'm good enough i don't think i'm valuable enough i don't think i'm giving as much value but 
another side of ourselves for telling her no you have done everything at least you have this number of people telling you you have done it there is results like tangible results and all of that and she held back and in that life she was saying no she can't continue like this because she was really ashamed of her results that shame that thing that made her regret that oh my god i should have not done this instead of just doing it i paint it promoting it and just feel people uh the results you know to show for it and she came and said no i would not let shame hold me back from impacting more people because at the end of the day i did my part see i did my part i did my best i put in the time i did everything i could possibly do to offer value create impact um give my best change somebody else's life you know be a nice person um relate well with people be a good child to your parents a good parents to your own child and all of that and i sat down and i thought of it that oh my god this is the type of shame that we don't talk about there's the shame of oh i've done something inappropriate i don't want the whole world to know about it there's that shame there's another shame of oh maybe you are timid or something or you are just ashamed or maybe you feel like you are not up to par where you are maybe you are in a particular space and you're not dressing properly and you're feeling like oh my god why did i wear this there is that shame and then there's the shame of you regret that you did something and that shame holds you back from moving forward you know I was reading a book recently and that book was talking about how sometimes success holds us back in the sense that because you have succeeded in something you are now thinking that how will i top this thing so you stay there it's also something that shame does for you because you feel like i didn't do something well so you stay there and you are constantly um refusing to give more value to give your best because you're like oh my god how did i do all of this work and it's only one person that is the result of my effort is only one person that made good use of it is only one person i have to show for or how, after you've done everything nobody sends you testimonial do you know how painful that <laughs> do you know how painful that thing can be like nobody sends you a testimonial to say oh the class was good the product was nice no review nothing and you're like maybe this thing doesn't make sense <laughs> and we let that shame of what we think people should do hold us back that is the shame i'm talking about the shame of maybe you are regretting that you did something of course there are times when you really regret maybe you feel like you should have prepared better you should have not announced right now maybe it was impromptu and all of that but i'm talking of that shame that comes from you have done everything you possibly can you've prayed you've fasted you've put your best you've done your part you you, you you've given all the value you can and it looks like nobody got that value trust me that is not your shame to bear it is not a shame that we should allow and i'm saying this because i have been affected by this same thing so when that lady said it it was a light bulb moment that oh my god maybe that's why i'm holding back because i'm so ashamed that it can be a flop again whereas it wasn't even a flop to begin with do you get what i mean it wasn't a flop to begin with it's not your fault that you have given your best and people have received that best and have not done anything with it that is not your problem that is not your cross to bear it is basically you doing your bit giving your best earning your skills mastering your craft giving what you know impacting and just leave it whether anybody pays for your service and they come back with a bad review or no review that is a different thing entirely if they come back with no review and you try to reach out to them and they still give you no response leave them alone if they come back with a bad review please look at that review objectively there are some people that will just frustrate you they will come back with something nasty my mentor was sharing with me how she had given her best to a particular client and this client came and wanted to start rubbishing her work i was like no you didn't even do this you didn't even do that and she said no madam i did what you paid for and that is the part of being a master at your craft when you know that i have done my best i have this is my thing 
I'm a master at this thing. Please don't go and do that if you know you're not yet a master. You're still work in progress. Try to own your craft so that it can be as excellent as possible. And then you'll be able to beat your chest and say, I did it. I did what you paid for. So don't come back and say, oh, it didn't work out. It didn't blah, blah, blah. You know, some people will just want to rubbish your work. There are those people. That is their problem. But that's part where you now take what those people have said and you now see you now make it sink in and you start feeling like oh maybe maybe i should have you know maybe i should have done that um session for two hours instead of one hour 30 minutes oh maybe i should have been more patient or maybe but then there's a part of you that tells you that no you everything you promised to deliver you did you delivered it so if somebody gets so much value from you and they don't use it that is not your shame to bear and that's the pick me up i have for you guys today because Honestly, when I watched that live, because I've been on a particular journey, personally, when I watched that live, I was like, oh my God, it is not my shame to bear. It is not my fault that someone will not go back to their notes. You know how some people will be in your class or they are, they are, they, you, are responding, you are responding to them or you are serving them, you are teaching them about a particular product or service and it looks like they are there maybe you are doing an instagram live and everybody is giving you all the art and they are dropping comments and they're like oh my god i'm going to go and do this and this and that and this has changed my life and they don't go back to it see eh? it is no more your problem it is not your problem if they come back with a review fine if they don't fine i think that these days we are really basing our expertise our professionalism our gifts our values and the things that we offer and bring to the table we are basing it on the things that people have to say about it i was reading um, a post by girl to mom yesterday and she was talking about how most times we are looking for validation and we we don't necessarily think that what we are offering makes sense until somebody else says that yes it makes sense so what she said was something about maybe you're looking for confirmation that what you're doing is it makes sense if you have received confirmation from god it is enough that is the only confirmation you actually need you don't need any other person confirming that oh you are really good because trust me you're going to get people that will say you are really good and then you will get a ton of people that will say that you are rubbish what you should do with that feedback is to look at it objectively what are the things that you can work on to be better and then discard every other thing that tries to rubbish your work or make you feel like you haven't delivered what you promised that you haven't given the excellent bit that you promised no if somebody doesn't want to work on themselves that is no longer on you you've done your part that is it from me guys i felt like a preacher for a minute there but really that that's just something that i think we need to get rid of that shame of oh maybe i didn't do it well okay and then you hold back and you don't do anything for the remaining part of the year that is not your shame to bear okay you are doing well you are doing well and i'm also telling myself as well i'm doing well thank you so much for watching today's video if you could resonate with anything i have said in today's video please let me know by dropping a comment have you ever felt that shame of I regret that I did this program, this service, this product. I regret that I hosted this particular event. Maybe I shouldn't have. But there's another part of you that is telling you that, no, you did your best and you are trying to silence that voice. If you can resonate with that, please let me know in the comment section. And please stop silencing your voice of reason, telling you you have done your best. Because sometimes it is really hard. You have really done your best. You know it. You know, you know, when you do your best, you actually know. Yes, you know that you have done your best. So embrace that thing you have done and don't let anyone shame you. Okay, guys, there's another perspective to shame that I know of and I will talk about in another video. I don't want this, this video to be too long. So that is it from me today. I hope you have learned a thing or two. If you have, please let me know in the comment section and let me know how you have found this useful and helpful for you. Till I come your way again, please, I want you to own your accomplishments, your achievements and whatever bits you have done, own it with your full chest like what nigerian people will say thank you so much for watching today's video i'll see you in my next one bye